good morning hearty welcome to this english class in this class i would like to give you the summary and analysis of the poem any woman by catherine tynan catherine tynan is an irish poet and novelist whose works are dominated by the combined influences of roman catholicism and irish patriotism like the poet wb east she developed a deep and abiding interest in celtic mythology her collected poems were published in 1930 as an extraordinary writer she produced five autobiographical volumes 25 years the middle years the years of the shadow the wandering years and memories she also wrote more than 100 romantic novels the best known of which is the house in the forest published in 1928 any woman is a deeply touching poem that celebrates the self effacing love of mothers it tells us about the cares worries and burdens that mother bear everywhere to hold their homes in order the poem also reflects tynan's view of motherhood now let us listen to the poem any woman by catherine tynan i am the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i take me away and roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth which else were colder than stone at me the children warm their hands i am their light of love alive without me cold the hearthstone stands nor could the precious children thrive I am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring their knot of love from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering I am the house from floor to roof I deck the walls the board I spread I spin the curtains warp and woof and shake the down to be their bed I am their wall against all danger their door against the wind and snow thou whom a woman laid in a manger take me not till the children grow hope all of you enjoyed the poem now let us go to the summary of the poem the first stanza i am the pillars of the house the keystone of the arch am i take me away and roof and wall would fall to ruin me utterly so the poem opens by introducing the central metaphor of the house the mother says that she is the pillars of the house she is the keystone of the arch and without which the roof and wall would fall and the house would be ruined you know what is a pillar of the house a pillar help the roof to stand and here is a piece of information about keystone is a wedge shaped stone at the apex of an arch and it is the last piece placed in construction it locks all the stones of arch so that it can bear the entire weight of the arch the poet uses powerful images to depict our mothers our mothers are like a pillars of the house and keystone in an arch pillars and keystone are important in the building likewise mothers are like a keystone and pillars in our life the second and third stanza i am the fire upon the hearth i am the light of the good sun i am the heat that warms the earth which else were colder than a stone 
I'd meet the children, warm their hands. I am their light of love alive. Without me, cold the hearthstone stands. No, could the precious children thrive. Here, the meaning of the word hearth or hearthstone means the floor of a fireplace. So, in the first stanza, we see uh, the poet presents mothers as keystone and uh, pillars. So, they are not really just the foundation of the household. She, mother, is a light, life, and love that fills a house. Like the sun which warms the earth, she is the fire upon the hearth. The children warm their hands at her. Without her, the house would be cold and lifeless, and the children would not thrive. I am the twist that holds together the children in its sacred ring. Their knot of love, from whose close tether no lost child goes a wandering. So the poet tells us, mother is like a twist or a knot in the ring, a twist or a knot in the ring that holds the different strands together. She holds the children together in the sacred ring of love. Without the knot of love, many a child could go a wandering and get lost. So again, she is using powerful images like a twist or knot in a ring, and that uh, holds the different strands together. So she uh, together gather all the children in this sacred ring. And with this protection, she is sure that no child will get lost in their life. I am the house from floor to roof. I deck the walls, the board I spread, I spin the curtains, woof and woof, and shake the down to be their bed. So the poet describes the countless household tasks a mother performs every day in the house, which may make her children wonder whether she has a thousand hands. She decorates the house, gets the table ready for dinner, spins the curtains, and make their bed. So in this line, the poet tells us about the countless jobs done by a mother at home. They have to do number of works. They decorate the house. They get the table ready. They spin the curtain. They make their bed. They decorate the house, etc., etc. And in this image, in the screen, you can see a mother with many hands, busy with a number of works. And finally, uh, the poet tells like this, I am their wall against all danger, their door against the wind and snow. Thou whom a woman laid in a manger, take me not till the children grow. She walls out the wind and snow and protects them from all danger. Look at the image here. Wall and door. As wall and door, she protects her children from wind and snow, from all kinds of dangers. And finally, she concludes the poem with a, po uh, with a prayer. Thou whom a woman laid in a manger, take me not till the children grow. The word manger means an open box from which cattle and horses feed. Here, she is referring Mother Mary, the mother of uh, Jesus Christ. She is praying to Jesus, you are laid in the manger by a woman, Mother Mary, and uh, uh, she has a request, a prayer to Jesus Christ, and that is uh, to keep her alive till the children grow.
All the metaphorical images in the poem revolves around the central metaphor of a house and underlines the proposal that a house and a mother are identical. A house is a house only when there is a mother. But her value is often not understood until she is lost. The poem celebrates the glory of her womanhood, the spirit behind the existence and sustenance of life on earth. The speaker identifies herself with the pillars of the house, keystone of the arch, fire upon the hearth, light of the sun, heat that warms the earth, light of love, twist of the sacred ring, knot of love, house from floor to roof, wall against all danger, and door against the wind and snow. The speaker asserts that if she is taken away, the whole edifice will be ruined. And this bold assertion becomes a confession to a revelation about the space where a woman enjoy her existence. She is confident that it is a warmth which perpetuates life on earth. The point here is that she is a source of warmth for the entire earth. She kindles the fire in the hearth and she becomes the source of love and life for the precious children. She binds them with the tether of her love, and no child can escape from that bondage. Remembering her duties and responsibilities, the speaker now equates herself to the house. She decorates the walls, spreads the board, spins the curtains, and makes the bed. She defends the family in all the dangers. The poet's concluding note is a prayer to God with the reminder that only a woman is made instrumental in the birth of Jesus Christ. Her appeal to God is to prolong her life till her children are grown up. Now let us uh, watch a wonderful song sung by Stephen Devesey dedicated to the mothers of whole world. <laughs> 